Okay. And I think we're live, yes? Uh, I'm, I'm still not quite seeing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, now I see it. I get an ad for HBO. <laughs> So while that, uh, while that goes away, hello everybody and welcome back to our NIMSO session. This will be probably one of the last sessions because today we are going to see the, the Queen C2 line. That's the last one left. And Sophie yeah. was eager to, to see it. <laughs> the Queen C2 line. Okay, that was, I think, me. I am because I've, I've met it a few times. <laughs> And I'm not sure what to play against. Yeah, it's it's probably the most popular. No, Queen C2 is what um, yeah, what yeah. people play. So let me see if everything works here. I have everything on. Now we can probably start. Let us know if there's any problem with the sound. Um, I hope not. But if there's anything wrong, just uh, let me know, and I will do my best to fix it. <laughs> I just need to open the Twitch chat and we will be ready to start. I so, have both chats open now. So yeah. Uh, help either way. There we are. OK. Yeah. So let's start then. We will see a game of Michael Adams. We have seen various games of Michael Adams already. <laughs> we already know that he's a, a specialist. And let's see this one. So e6, c4. Knight f6 and bishop b4 and here the move that was left for us to see is queen c2. So here on queen c2 we castle. Yeah. And here white has a few ways to continue but the main uh, main move would be a3. I'm just going to draw some arrows here. That's before. what I have uh, met online. That's what oh. you've met online, no? And what yeah. did you do on a3? Just curious. What I did? Yes. I put my bishop back on e7 and I think that's a mistake. Uh, we take on c3, yes, after a3. Yeah. And we are going to see, I think, a fun line. I think you're going to, to like it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's knight f3 here, besides a3. Yeah. And OK, e4 is also a possibility because now white can o occupy the center, right? Doesn't need f3 yeah. anymore. Okay, so let's start with knight f3, which is, I think, the second most played move in this position. And after knight f3, well, remember that we always attack the center somehow, and here uh, we do it by c5. And we're going to have some different positions than what we had before with the pawn on d5. Now they take on c5. This move is more or less forced, they take c5, because if they don't take on c5, Let's say e3, no? This would be uh, maybe a move. But if they play e3, you, you are ready to take. And when they take back, you play d5. And that's a very comfortable position for black. So here, d takes e5 is usually played. And now we go knight a6. We want to take back with the knight. And we are going to play, well, for the square e4 many times. But let's see what, what white can do. For example, if they go a3 here, we take on c3, okay, and then we take on c5. And we're yeah. going to develop with b6, bishop b7, or bishop a6 even. This can also be played depending on how white gets the pieces out. But let's see, because we're going to get something similar. Um, what can white do here? He can go g3, this is uh, main. He can also go e3 and get the bishop out via e2, but here after e3, uh, black equalizes easily. Now we take on c5 and the threat is knight e4. Well, the threat, no, it's there. Not really winning or anything, but that's what we want to do. So if bishop e2, for example, we would go knight e4. If bishop e2 here. And if bishop d2, then we can go ahead and develop. And we will eventually get knight e4. Say castle, knight e4. This is a comfortable position. Here we're not losing material because we are going to take here with the bishop and everything's fine. Now we attack the queen. Yeah. Takes, takes. Take here and I think here d5 
you have other moves, but d5 looks pretty logical, no? And this position is equal after after this. Like you could yeah. even go queen e7 and play d5 later. I don't think they, they can stop you from playing d5 too soon. But uh, it looks like a, a normal position. No? You, we've got... We are fine here. So, let's see g3. This, this move, we take on c5. They go bishop g2, and here, surprise, we can still play b6. So don't you be scared yeah. of this. <laughs> That's not happening. But the knight doesn't have any good moves. No jump, no? The knight on f3. No. Yeah. And we have bishop b7 anyway. If anything, we have rook b8. There's that no double true. attack. Nothing. So we can go ahead with b6. Looks uh, looks like uh, it's not a move that you play, but it's it works. Uh, good to know. So if they don't have any good knight jump, we just develop, yeah? Bishop b7. Okay, and here there are some things and to... If... Sorry? If we could, we would like to exchange the light squared bishops, yes? If they play knight d4 or something, yes, we can We can uh, take yeah. on, on g2. I think you... Knight d4? Is, I don't know about knight d4 here, no? It looks a bit... Uh, I can take on... The thing is that in these positions, um, what black wants to do when, when we play c5, we will see this idea uh, in these lines that white might have problems with the pawn on c4 in many lines. So what we want to do eventually is put a rook on c8 and uh, put pressure on c4. So after knight d4, I'm going to refresh. I don't know if you see the board, but... Can you see it now? I can uh, see it. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we take on g2. And king takes. Okay, here I can already play rook b8. I can also take on c3 and d5. That looks very good, yeah? Takes on c3 and d5. Yeah. Because the knight on d4 is a bit uh, loose. Maybe I can use that. What if I take here and d5? Queen takes d5. Looking looks good. I think very comfortable for black. Maybe slightly better, not by much, but yeah, just a little bit. We're going to take with the and if bishop g five we six yes. Uh sorry, can you repeat that? We didn't hear you very well. Yes, if uh, bishop uh, g five at some point, we just push h six and then. Um, ah, that should be fine. I yeah. Guess. Also, maybe bishop g five right away. Uh, ah, we have to look at e five. Ninety four. There's ninety four. Ninety four. Yeah. They have to go queen c one. Unfortunately, there's a defense. I think. But e five also looks uh, tempting. If they go bishop g five here. There is a knight c six, right? Let's uh, let's see it. Bishop g five. If e five here, there is a knight c six. Okay, why is my move going backwards? <laughs> can you see it on the board, Sophie? <laughs> like I can see knight, uh, bishop g five. Yes. And then e five. And then I'm think I'm thinking about e five here, yeah. but I don't know knight c six. How is this? Does this knight c six work? Let's see, d6, queen d6, maybe? Yes, queen d6. Then we can get out of the pin at least. Yeah, but, um, right, and there's no knight takes e5, yeah? That's the, the point, because of d4. Or knight e4, I think, both of them. So knight e5, I have uh, at least knight e4. There's no way to defend all the pieces, right? Yeah, yeah I think that's... It's that's fine and if bishop takes f6 yeah. i take the other one and i take this guy here and i'm ready for a discover check yeah. here i can take on c4 then you have a really yeah i was just looking at d6 but then he can maybe play queen f3 
Uh, when? Uh, not D6, D4, D5 to D4. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Queen um, F3, I think. Instead of taking... Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Queen F3 yeah. is, uh, is an idea there, yes, if we go D4. So, no, I think we take on C4 and we are fine here. Uh, queen side majority. Yeah. Yeah, this should... This looks good. Mm. Well, I was going to say that here, okay, we haven't played d5 or d6 yet. And we have this pawn on d7 and uh, weakness on d6 for now. So what they can try to do is uh, use this, oh, this moment now. Knight b5 and it looks like knight b6 is landing and that's going to be uncomfortable if, if it happens. But it's not going to happen because here this is our idea. We go bishop b4. And the point of bishop e4 is, and after queen d1, we fianchetto the knight. <laughs> but <Yeah>. the, knight, <laughs> the knight from b7 defends everything very well, yeah? I have... Yeah, and the bishop is ready to go back a3. Yeah, 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 now I can go bishop e7. Actually, a3 is what they play here. And we go bishop e7. Mm. Bishop f4 is the is the move here. We are playing for always okay, tricks on c7, uh, the control of d6. But here we have rook c8. A7 is hanging, but so is c4. And we take one for the other. If they go rook c1 here, a very interesting move uh, that hasn't been played too much is a5. A6 was the um, main move but this a5 is very interesting here the pawn was, was hanging no? so we had to move it and with a5 we also kind of stop uh, the queen side b4 is one of black's plan he plans here so now they go knight c3 and this bishop we keep we go bishop c6 and then we regroup let's say rook e1 uh, was this game that we are following rook e1 wants e4 maybe yeah so here knight c5 and the knight gets to e4 b4 was played here okay nothing happens knight e4 black is still doing fine and the game was a draw after a few more moves bishop e4 equals bishop d6 and here we can take because we always here the, the draw was, the game was drawn, but if queen d6, we have at least rook c6, no? L, mm. And now we kick the queen out. Um, we can continue on the c file, we can continue with ideas like d5. We have to, have to see if, if that works right away or not, but uh, we will have d5 eventually. Okay. So someone is asking, what if a6? Yes, a6 is possible as well. But I think a5 is a more interesting idea here in this position. The game is similar. Like after a6, white still plays knight c3 here. But the difference would be that then b4 is coming uh, without a pawn on a5 no? later on. Yeah, I like a5. a5 was interesting. It was, well, um, a novelty over the board in this game. <laughs> And then it was played uh, 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 what? Times. It was a novelty in uh, over the board uh, games. It was played once ah. in correspondence. I, I saw it now in, in the database, but it had never been played over the board. It was first played here in this game uh, two years ago. In a very nice tournament in Italy that I used to play. <laughs> but didn't make it this year due to Corona, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I need to play tournaments. Yeah, I haven't played the... Uh, what did I play this year? I played a tournament in Norway in the beginning of the year, in February, and then everything was shut down and I only played a rapid uh, event here in, in Bucharest, a team event, very close to Bucharest. I'm gonna play um, a team tournament in Oslo in two weeks. It's gonna be my first classical game in one more than a year really um, so i'm looking forward to it. so yeah. what kind of team tournament is it just it's... uh you said it was a team tournament 
Ja, etwa Affelspin. Aha, okay, nice. Ja. Yeah. Very nice. Ja, yeah, very hope, nice. Uh, I don't know if I have black and white pieces, but it's good to uh, <laughs> have my opening repertoire ready. Yeah, that's good. With black at least. No, we haven't looked at white, but with black, I think uh, you, you have it covered. <laughs> my black openings uh, were the one who needed it the most so <laughs> fine hope you have a good tournament i will be watching you <laughs> okay yeah. so we saw knight f3 here yeah and that's the the idea that we play for on knight f3 we play for c5 so let's check out the e4 mm -hmm. which looks like the most dangerous here no looks very aggressive but here after e4, we have seen in many other um, positions that we immediately attack the center. We don't allow these pawns to advance too far. We go d5. Yeah. So what happens after d5? Yeah. They go e5. And here we go knight e4. And the positions uh, arising from here are complicated, but black is always fine. Kind of uh, complications are in, in, in black's favor. Nothing is go nothing bad is going to happen to us anyway. So let's see what can what white can do here. Bishop d3 is the main move, but it's not the only one. So let's start with the other ones. For example, what happens if a3, you know? This is one of the questions. Well, if a3 we take on c3, of course. Pawn takes and now we continue attacking the center with c5. So it's important to play energetically here. And white has a little problem that the knight on e4 is very annoying, no? And f3 can never be played, yep. right? No. Because of queen h4. Because of queen h4. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Queen h4, and here you, well, they don't have g3 because you simply take it with the knight. This pawn is pinned. So, f3 doesn't work. That means that. They have to continue developing something like bishop d3. Now we take here on c on d4, and we have this check on a5. And what they usually do after the check on a5 is king f1. They can also go yeah. Okay, I already like this with black. <laughs> you already like black. No, I knew this. Uh, this would be to your liking. Yeah. Because the positions are unbalanced yeah. and complications. Uh, are, I know that you like complications and uh, games with uh, attack already, so... <laughs> well, here if they go bishop d2, you won't have... And I like when my opponent does... Yeah, sorry. Yeah, just like when they don't castle, that's <laughs> when you have something to... Um, to attack. Sometimes yeah. have something to... a dynamic uh, advantage. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what you're playing here for. So, okay, bishop d2, here we are going to have to trade everything, but this endgame is... I like this endgame as well for black. It's supposed to be equal, but I think it's very comfortable. Rook d8, knight f6. We are playing uh, against the weakness on d4. Maybe Does he have to go king e3? I think so, yeah. Yeah. King d3 looks like the move here. But then knight e7, I like mm. this. Yeah. I'm threatening some checks. I don't know if I want to give them already, but I also prepare maybe this maneuver to get my bishop out. Mm. Okay, maybe with uh, correct play it should be draw probably, but I feel like black is uh, pressing a bit here. So this is the end game after bishop d2, and if king f1, okay, let's see this move. Now we can get another piece out with tempo. And after knight e2, what would you play? This is gonna look a little bit more. Uh, I I really wanna. My thought is f six. Um, 
I think that looks very natural, but maybe I'm not sure if he threatens to take my, so maybe F5 instead. Um, no, actually F6, you are threatening to take on E5, yeah? And there are some... Yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I don't know if I'm worried, but F6, um, then after Bishop takes, mm -hmm. uh, Pawn take, Queen takes, okay, then I take here, but mm -hmm. can he, can he maybe take back? Well, then at least I have this open file, which looks pretty good. But you can take the pawn as well. Your queen is open now. The queen on a5 is hitting on e5 as well. Oh, that's true. Yeah, okay. So I'm not even losing a pawn. No, no, you're then not. Then f6 yeah. looks really good. You can yeah. take it. Yes, of course, f f6. Makes sense, no? With the king on f1. And yes, they have to take on e4. Otherwise, you open the f file and f2 is just uh, a target. So they take, takes. Yes, if queen e4 you take on a, on e5 and that position you are looking at uh, should be very nice, very comfortable. And here, if pawn takes f6, now we have this queen Sorry, f5. Is the music there? Um, I can hear it, but it's not uh, too loud. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Ah, it was on the street. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, okay, so here we have this queen f5, no? This is very nice. Okay. Yeah, we, we have this pin. Ah, so he... Yeah, that's a nice way to... Uh, yeah. To not lose the pawn on e4. Let's say here. Yeah. Okay, and even if we lose the pawn, because here we're going to take with the queen, uh, we still have a big attack, like for example, if queen e4 here, you have this move, e5. And open the position, yeah? Mm. Bishop f5 is coming, everything uh, is open now. I think I play bishop f5 to other move than pawn takes e5. To any other move. So, okay. Yeah, if they rook d1, let's say, then uh, we can play b6. And now white, okay, gets this pawn, the rook is not on a1 anymore. Uh, e5 still works, but there is some queen d5. It's not, uh, maybe not the same because now uh, the rook is on d1, but bishop b7 makes sense now if we play b6 to attack on this diagonal. Let's say king g1, bring more pieces. And we are already threatening to take on d4 here. Because on queen b7, I have this knight e2. Yeah, I think this works now. So if they go queen c2, here we have another uh, strong move to bring all the pieces to the king side. Because the piece that's not really helping uh, into our attack is this knight on c6. It's a bit outside but now we play knight e5 <laughs> and let's see what happens what if d takes e5 let's gonna point? see how that yeah okay i'm going to give you a minute here um yeah oh i think i have it but i'm just gonna check oh it looks really good ah uh, we have queen g6 yes Queen g6. Sorry, I'm going to close the window now. Sure, no, it's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So here we have queen g6, and this is a very, very nice double attack. That's not so common, maybe. We threaten mate on g2. Hold on, let me just... Yes, queen g6. We attack g2, and then the rook on d1 is hanging. This rook is hanging. If they yeah. take on, on g6, that's, that's also mate. Sophie spotting the tactics right away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are ready to play, Easier Sophie. Than the position. <laughs> yeah. You are very much ready to play. Yeah, so... Uh, there are some suggestions in the chat, but was that from before? Yeah. Or Bishop E3? Or maybe it's... No. I think Bishop E3 was in the line that we were seeing here, where, where Bishop E3 ah, was played. Okay. I think so. If it's in another, in a different uh, position, then 
let me know yeah okay so this is the what we want to play here okay and this this happens if they play a3 right but a3 is not the main move here uh, the main move is bishop d3 in this position and on bishop d3 what do we do we play c5 Again, we attack the center, we have this uh, slight development advantage, slightly more active pieces, and we want to use it. Again, white doesn't have time to win a pawn there, because d4 will be hanging after uh, taking on e4. So they play knight f3 here. Now we take. Knight takes, and here we play knight d7, and now we are attacking e5. So there's no time to breathe for white. We want to take here. If they take on e4, for yeah. example, because queen e4 defends the pawn, but it's only temporary, because here what do we play? Um, knight c5 looks good, but I'm not sure if it's um, best. Um, okay. Well, we can maybe play queen a5. Yeah, that just wins the pawn back. No? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. And we take yeah. the pawn right away. It's going to be an equal position. Sorry to disappoint because <laughs> I know you were hoping to attack the king in the center, <laughs> but <laughs> it's, it's not, not going to happen if white plays yeah. this well. Equal. equal is fine yeah yeah um and if yeah. i go bishop f4 here to defend okay now it gets interesting because you can play queen h4 here they go g3 and the queen stays around here to attack e5 mm. and let's say castle and now you're going to like this move I do, I do like that move. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. We... It's, uh... Yes, sorry. No, I'm just looking at White's options and what the follow-up is. Yeah, because we want to take on e5, yeah? If the bishop moves away. Yeah. Yeah, of course, yeah. We want, we are after this one. Yeah, and the knight is also eyeing uh, some good squares in the White camp. Yes, agreed. No, they have this move, c takes d5 here. Now our knight is hanging on e4. We take here. Takes, take here. The bishop is still hanging. <laughs> takes on e4, takes. Again, if the bishop moves, we are going to take on e5. So here what they do is play e6. And we get to this position on takes uh, now they take e4 now we have to take on g3 and here I think it makes a lot of sense for white to take with the f pawn to open the rook otherwise if they take with the h pawn I think that black is doing fine the light squares are weak on yeah. the king side and there is no immediate threat no. so f takes g3 looks the most dangerous in this position um but you don't have to worry here, your king is okay. Don't, nothing is going to happen. You can play b6, just defend this pawn. It was under attack. If knight f5, uh, which again looks aggressive, you can simply play rook e8. Good news is that you have it all under control. Yeah. If check, yeah. we just go here. Okay, queen d4. And there's no doubt to ask about that. <laughs> Let's see how we how we play here. What's the point? Well, there are only so many uh, legal moves, right? <laughs> we can, only one. We can yeah. put the queen in between. <laughs> F6, we could move, we 
can really move the king. No, the king should. No, we move. can move. Eight. That looks very, very. I think just queen h f six is mm. winning on the spot. Yeah. So I mean, it's. I guess this is only move, but yes. then ah, uh, and then no, then we uh, queen f seven. No, no, not queen f seven. No. Okay, YouTube chat uh, has seen it. Queen c five. Queen c five. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm getting about the, the YouTube. It looks like David has it as well. Yeah, yeah. Queen C5. Uh, You've got yeah. it back. That looks. Then we're winning it back, and then what? Uh, then we just have a fine position. Yeah, it should be equal. The pawn on C3 is yeah. We have the pawn on F6. They have the pawn on C3. Yeah. So, okay, equality. What? What can we do? So this is um, this is E4. Yeah. This is the main line of e4. Uh, yeah. If both sides play well, it's going to be an equal position. So on e4, remember to go d5, and we have these uh, continuations with attacking the center all the time, sometimes giving up the pawn, but for good compensation. And that leaves us with a3, with the main move in this yeah, position. Yeah, that's what I've been uh, meeting. Yeah. And now we take on c3. And then queen c3. And here I think you are going to like the the idea that I'm going to show you. Okay, first I'm going to show you how uh, they play these lines, like what the main line is here. b6 is the main line. And I'm going to show you this setup, see if you, if you like it. I, I thought it was not going to be very much to your style, but uh, let me show you. Here they go bishop g5. I'm just going to show the main line here. Uh, bishop b7 and they go e3 and here we play with d6 we want to play again for c5 and i'm going to show you in a moment what we play for in case white doesn't uh, play best like for example if they go knight f3 here we can already get this position that we are hoping for we want to play c5 but get the the, the c file um, open semi-open actually no we want a rook on c8. So we start with knight d7. And here in the game that we were following, knight d2 was played. And now after rook c8, black is great. And this is our dream position, let's say. This is what we want with black if white doesn't play in the best way. Here uh, f3 was played. They are preparing for e4 and c5. And now this is already great for us. Rook takes c5. Yeah, if you get this, I would like it. <laughs> this one, if they play like this, you'd like it. But uh, they're not going to go like this. I'm going to show you the, the positions that usually arise. Here we can play b5. This was the move played. And now rook c6. And this is very, very comfortable. Takes. This was played. Defend. And this is still very nice. Rook c7. White still has some problems to solve. Has to go queen d4. Yeah. And here comes e5. Queen d3 is forced. What do we play now? Um, no, then I'm looking at uh, queen c8 to get out of the pin and threaten the bishop. Yeah. But then after, yeah, maybe that's working actually. Queen c8 followed by maybe d5. Queen c8 and d5. Um, you have something better than queen c8. If queen c8, maybe I can play oh. bishop a6 and castle. Ah, yeah, that comes with a tempo. Yeah, I'm just, maybe I have something okay. better, but just to get my king to yeah. safety. Or maybe yeah, then I could go uh, rook c1. Oh, bishop a6, you want to play rook c1. Yeah, but uh, are you... <laughs> because maybe he can just move 
the king and I don't have time to take um, to but, take anything. Nah, but there's rook c2 in that position. It already looks scary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do okay, I play? Okay, I'm just going to... If, okay, it looks like the YouTube is writing a lot of things. Queen C8 is also being suggested. Uh, D5. I thought D5 was hanging, but um, looks like I live in a hospital. <laughs> I don't live in a hospital. I live, <laughs> I live in Airbnb in Oslo. Um, but it's very neat and clean and white um maybe that the hospital very nordic i think maybe. it would be a nice hospital though. <laughs> very nordic hospital. E f okay d5 e4 knight c6 is being suggested by martin miguel and mohammed so i'm just gonna look if any of those d5 um can he not take d5 um, I think that's, always in these that has to uh, be lessons, yeah. I, 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 I to be looked at. Okay, because I thought it was just hanging. So yeah, I maybe so. if Queen takes, we can we can take. I think that should be good, and then maybe take an e3 or just recapturing the the uh, bishop and d8. Sorry, um, I didn't. Uh, what so are you looking if, at? If it takes with. Ah, we are looking at d5, yes. I'm looking Bishop at playing d5. d5. Mm -hmm. See my arrows? Yes, I see. I make some weird errors. Uh, so d5, bishop takes... Yeah, yeah, I think that's hanging upon, oh, no? Because the knight is pinned. Knight. Yeah, I'm... Um, yeah. Okay, it's so probably... somebody else suggested... Uh, suggested e4. Mm -hmm. How's that? Um, I think if they take with the queen, we just take with the knight, and that should be an okay exchange. If they take with the pawn... Oh, but the bishop is hanging in the end if they take with the queen. The bishop on c4. Ah, yeah, that's true. That's true. But if they take with the pawn... Yeah. You have the answer in the chat, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to look. In the YouTube chat, I think. Yes. So. The Twitch chat is being pretty simple. E4 and Knight E5. It's David's uh, suggestion. Let me see. Knight E5. Ah, yes, of course. I should have seen that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's a nice little tactic. Yeah, E4 is uh, winning here already. They went uh, Queen E2. Yeah. And Knight E5 anyway here but in this position black is already much better um so remember that this is our dream position what we want from this it doesn't mean that we're always going to get it but if white allows sometimes we are going to get lucky <laughs> so rook c2 here was played and yeah. after queen d1 <laughs> um there's another nice move here for for black how do we i'm going to give you a few minutes to think about this position how to continue with black So, um, white has some undefended pieces. Mm, yeah. On h4 and e5. Uh, so maybe if I could, and also the pawn on e3 is very weak. Um, and the king is not having the best safety in the world. Uh, so. <laughs> If I could attack some of those, that would be great. My, I have myself, um, the pawn on d6 is hanging, but I think it would be, I mean, it's just a pawn. <laughs> so, let me see. Um, I think queen h3 was suggested, but if you play queen h3, you are hanging the rook on c2. Queen h3 would be, yes, of course, the idea. But there's a rook on on C to hanging. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's the thing. I mean, Queen C3 looks 
Uh, I just wanted to make an error like this. Queen C3 looks uh, like something that could be good uh, to attack this pawn and still protect our rook. But I'm not really, if he protects the pawn, Yeah. then I'm not sure what the follow-up would be. And there's a suggestion mm. of rook b2 and queen c2, but when you play queen c2, I can trade queens, so it's not going to be... And besides, I have another defense. Yeah, I don't wanna That's rook f2 Lose sometimes. my queen. Rook f2 is also a defense in... If I don't have yeah. anything else. Ah. Uh. Maybe we could even go, no, a6, he can maybe just take that because our queen is tied to the rook. Um, yeah. So I don't like that. I think so far the best I've got is queen c3, um, but I'm not, I only like it. I, I don't love it. It's just Feels like it should be more, yeah? Uh, maybe queen f5. Queen f5 is maybe better, then it's still protecting the rook. And um, we might have ideas about queen G6. going queen g6, checkmate. I mean, he could defend, but it's something. And we could also maybe even at some point move the knight and the bishop on b5. I think I like queen f5 more than I like queen c3. But I'm just going to look if anybody in the chat has better suggestions. Queen c3 is being suggested by uh, Evgeny. Eccentric course is saying, would be, oh yeah, that's what you were saying, just in checkmate, but then the queen exchange would happen. What about setting up an Eliakin gun on the c file? Ah, uh, just tribbling. On the c file. Ah, uh, maybe that's, is that the so going the queen is... c3 and then... But the yeah. king is very weak, and queen f5, queen f5 is also suggested by the Twitch chat, and is a good option if you don't find um, anything else. Yeah, queen f5 and queen g6 Somebody's, is interesting. Yeah, yeah I like uh, David's uh, idea, which I also talked about with playing queen f5. Uh, but there is another move here. <laughs> That's winning. Yeah. That's just winning. Not, I'm just gonna see. Does the uh, no, the you have it. Uh, you have it on the board already. Ninety-five is the move played in the game. You and have it on that's... the board. But what am I missing here? Ninety-five. Well, if they take the rook, is not hanging. <laughs> Let's see. Queen yeah. takes d five is what we but... have to have to see first. No. Yeah. And then we play queen h3? Yes. Ooh. And that's hard to defend. Well, there is still rook f2, but there is a, uh, a check yeah. on f3 at some point. If bishop f2, I think we can just take on f3, yeah? And this is going to be winning. Yeah. Because there's a mate on h2. And rook f2, we take... Yeah. Yeah, and rook f2, we take it, yeah? yeah. Yeah. We take it. And bishop takes, I think I have the same knight f3. And if king takes, I have uh, queen h2, right? And the queen yeah. h1 check, the rook on a1 is hanging. Uh, everything's hanging. <laughs> and this, uh, this should be winning. This is a very beautiful idea with knight d5 that this was a game of Shirov that we were following yeah. here in the in the annotations and well now the knight enters and it's pretty much impossible to defend everything if rook e1 again we have a very good move which is this rook d2 ah yeah that's a family <laughs> check yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> we have knight f3 if they take and the point is that now we will have queen h3 because the rook is untouchable on d2 yeah? if they move mm. the queen away Queen anywhere else, I go queen h3. And yeah. if if queen e1, this was played in the game, now he plays knight c3. And you also have problems with the bishop. Incredible, yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah. The nights are really um, uh, working better right now than the bishop pair. Yeah, definitely. Well, the knights are very strong uh, in in the attack, and here we see it. Now the bishops are not very coordinated. Yeah. This was played, and here, no. queen h3, white resigned. This is uh, yeah. This was a game of Irina Cruz versus Shirov played in 2005. The point here is that if they play rook f2, there's knight f3. Mm. And it's also game over because queen h2 will be mate <laughs> if king h1. Yeah. Well, so this is uh, oh. what we oh, That's want. actually a nice one. That's a nice one, the Arabian mate. <laughs> yeah. On, uh, yeah, if you play uh, king h1. Let's show it now. I go yeah, queen h2. I think so. We don't take the queen. No, 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 no. Thank you. That's too, I just yeah. uh, I just give mate. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Well, but remember that this is like uh, wishful thinking here. If they don't play, if they don't know exactly what they're doing with white, or if if they don't play the the best plans here. Um, but the best move for white is ninety two. And here I'm going to show you what these positions look like normally if white plays. Um, the main line, 97. And here there is a very interesting idea that has been played uh, by Kasparov in many occasions, and that's queen d3. This is a very tricky move, because what do we want to do with black? We said that we wanted to play c5, right? What yeah. does c5 do? Weakens the pawn on d6. So with queen d3, white is already preparing to put pressure there. White is uh, the queen is already there. If we take on d4, they will attack d6. And the other idea of queen d3 is that now uh, they will have this square for the knight, and then you defend d4. This is a very nice plan for white. And yeah. yeah, I was just saying that because. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't hear what you said. I thought we could just put the bishop. I think there's a small delay, but I think we could just play uh, bishop d4, but of course, uh, I think then he could just take it and take the queen on d8. I think so, yeah. And there's also the move, besides queen d3, there's also queen c2, which has a similar idea. Uh, we vacate c3 and now, okay, let's say h6 and c5, they play rook d1. And once again, we see the pressure on mm. the d5. Queen c7, knight c3 again, bishop g3, no? It feels a bit uncomfortable. Mm. Uh, here we, we can play e5, but still, this position is so and so, no? For black. Yeah. I think we have some, some problems here. And in the line with queen d3, what we can get is that here we play c5, knight c3, queen e7. And the thing is that here with black, we don't have very much to do. Uh, we have to play quietly, get pieces uh, to the center. Uh, but white it feels much, much more comfortable to play with white. I think it's kind of clear what white plays for here. You can play rook d8, and now, for example, d5 is also interesting for white. It's not forced. Here they could uh, go something like f3 you know, in the future and get the bishop out, but this d5 has been played, and after knight e5, queen c2, and now they can get the, the bishop out, castle. And I wasn't very sure if you'd like these positions, because they look a bit... Uh, like complicated and not very black is not very active, no. No, in this position, it's not so easy to play. That's all. If if you're not very familiar with this, so this is kind of the I think it's yeah really hard for me to play. I mean, I could, I could do it if it's not it's not, not losing, but it's I think I find it hi hard to um, make a good plan here with black. Yeah, because you don't have uh, any active play, no? It's just... Uh... No, and I don't know what I should go for any pawn levers, uh, pawn breaks, what I could even go for, because... Uh... Yeah, we don't have any yeah, pawn I think breaks, it's, no? It's... 
So I think here no, not really. it's the type of position where you can maneuver and play around, but not really do anything. Uh, and that's very difficult to play. And it's usually better for white yeah. who has more space advantage, active pieces and can find things to do here. You can just see the pawns coming at you. Something like a four is going to be a threat at some point when they castle. Yeah. So here, uh, let me just go back here. Someone was asking about your nationality, so please don't let me say that you well, are again, Dutch. <laughs> that you are, <laughs> don't let me say that you are <laughs> yes, <laughs> you are Danish. Don't let me say that you are Dutch. And <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So let's go back here. Um, B6 was the main, uh, the main move, but since I thought that those positions were not very comfortable for you, I thought that it would be fun to show you this line. Ah, yes. Now she likes <laughs> it. Now she's I back in the game. <laughs> now she likes the name. So again, because I saw like, mm, nah, these positions are not really for me. Mm. <laughs> I already saw that Sophie was getting a bit uh, depressed about the positions in the name, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. I think someone was asking what you... I have no idea why we... It looks good, no? Someone was asking what you play with white? What? I... At some point? Uh, um, well, I play E4. I play E4. And then I... Um, uh, I play a lot of gambits. I play the Smith Mark gambit. I play some type of the Evans gambit. Um, but I some of them are not so sound. I mean, I feel like now I'm, I'm beginning to maybe reach a level where people know how to play against gambits. So I'm also I should ex like uh, change some of my openings. Um, do you like? Do you like calling? I calling is a city in Denmark. I can do my I have never been to calling. I think if you should go to Denmark, you should go to Copenhagen. I don't think calling is anything special, to be honest, but I've never been there. So I don't know. <laughs> I, I would I think the best place in Denmark is definitely Copenhagen or maybe Aarhus, the other big city. Um, so now that you know what Sophie plays with white and all these gamuts, you will understand why I thought that B5 was the, <laughs> the best move for her in this position. <laughs> so let's see what and, the point. And people ask that and uh, academics are proud of me, are proud of you. <laughs> I don't know. I think think the gambits are the reason for that. Okay. So let's see what happens if they take the yeah. pawn. Oh, if they don't take the pawn, that's uh, e three here. That's okay. often state in gambits. They cannot take, but now you will play bishop b7, and this position is uh, okay for black. This is good. Knight of three, we go d6, yeah. get the pieces out, and here we want to play c5 already. And if they go b4, let's say not allowed. Now you have uh, now you have options in this position. I think a5. I'm sorry. What? We cannot play c5. Uh, well. I think uh, maybe it's we are singing. I see that, but I think we are setting ourselves for some tactics there. C five here. Okay, doesn't look doesn't look very good, but we can check it out. I think uh, D takes C five is the move that I was considering. No, because I want to open my rook and the diagonal. Not sure if. D takes, and I suppose you wanted to take back, right? Pawn takes. Oh, can you refresh? Oh, yeah, sure. D takes C5, and here, okay. Um, one, more, one, one of my concerns was, was rook D1, for example. But if I just get pinned there forever with something like rook D1 and bishop B2. Yeah. I think the position opens a bit in white's favor here. Yeah, that's probably true. If we got the knight on c5, like very well protected, that was nice. But here, no, here we have options of uh, of a5, for example, in this position. 
this is a move. You can also play rook c8 and prepare c5 if you want. You can also take on f3 if you want. <laughs> and then play here around the center with knight d5. This is also good. The point would be that if bishop yeah. takes d5, then white is left with a bad bishop. Yeah, this bishop is yeah. closed here forever. And I think we have it's some... Our... Right? The knight on c4, yeah. That's one of the ideas, getting yeah. the knight on c4. But it's not the only one yeah. because the king is also weak. So this is another idea. Yeah. And here. Yeah. No, this is a great position. If white gives up the light square bishop, uh, this would be great. They they won't give it up probably, play queen c2. But this is also fine. No, we could go queen f6 maybe and play against... Uh, the weaknesses. No, actually there was a line here given with d takes c5, c5, bishop e6, but that doesn't win a pawn because here um, the knight from c5 defends the pawn. Yeah, bishop e6 doesn't win the pawn because I take. So that's not, uh, that's not winning a pawn. Okay, so this is what happens if they don't take on b5? I'm sorry that you're not enjoying this, but we are taking the lines one by one and we are going to go back to c takes b5. I'm just showing what happens if uh, if white doesn't take on b5. So we are now going to see c takes b5, of course, which is the main move of the position. And here we go c6. We give up uh, another one, no? First things first. Yeah. What? Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. What happens if they take? Okay. <laughs> now, if they take, we take back. And here we are going to be playing for activity, of course, for initiative. Get the pieces out. Bishop b7. Everything comes out with tempo. Rook c8. And now, for example, uh, white needs to get the queen out because if e3, we play knight e5. And we take on f3. So if they go queen d2 here, now we have knight a5. And the knight gets to b3 or c4. It's true that they can take on f6. Yeah, but okay, here we're going to take with the g pawn. And that's that's okay. Uh, doesn't mean that anything has happened. The knight is still getting... Like knight b3 is a threat. Knight d, queen d3 and knight c4. And this is very, very pleasant for black. I think uh, you'd enjoy playing this. <laughs> yeah, I think I couldn't hear you very well. Sorry. Uh, yeah, somebody asked about my rating. My rating, uh, my feeder classical rating. Uh, as, to, as you see somebody in the chat ask my rating and it's 1800 but my blitz rating has gone up a lot since I work with uh, Raluca so my blitz rating right now is actually 2040 uh, so um, it's really it's helping a lot um, and there's a question about uh, the pawn structure yeah but the G yeah, takes also, I'm sorry <laughs> yeah Sorry, go ahead. Is I... that on? Yeah, but after G takes F6, you put no, I just missed, I, I kind of forgot about the Twitch chat. Uh, and I see somebody, Dutch State, tried to play the Nimso, but kind of hated it. So maybe it would be an idea to go for the B5 line. It's very, very interesting line. Yes, worth, uh, worth looking into. Yeah. Um, so g takes f6 does it ruin our pawn structure a bit but it's not really something that important here that's uh that's the thing that uh, we are playing for the initiative and we kind of uh, compensate for that here white won't have time to attack us on the king side we just get this nice position here no? queen b6 and then play for a5 open everything. The king is in big danger on e1. Okay, let's see more, yeah? Yeah. This is what happens if they take on c6. Uh, the main line here is bishop g5. 
and now we take on b5. They go e3 and bishop b7, and somehow you see that they can never take the pawn on b5 because something else would happen. Like here, for example, we are hitting on g2. If they take on b5, we take that pawn. Now when they go knight f3, we go h6. And the point is that even here, they cannot take our pawn. Bishop takes b5, we have bishop b3, uh, takes f3. And we get that pawn back there with interest. And, uh, well, in this position, queen takes f6. If they go bishop e2, now we go rook c8. And again, our pieces uh, are developed uh, soon. No? Queen d3, a6. Okay, now they get to castle. But this is a very nice position as well. And here, knight c6. White play b4 in the game that we, were follow we are following now. And this b4 is a mistake because it kind of leaves the queen side with many holes. So we are going to take a small uh, yeah. moment here and find something to do for black. I think, uh, I'm not sure if it's just me, but I just missed your sound. Can you repeat the last thing? Oh, yeah, I was just saying that b4 is uh, not a good move for white because it leaves many holes on the queen side. So let's try to find a way to play for black. Can you hear me now? Yeah. OK. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, OK, so we need to find a, a good move here. Yeah, just a plan, no? something to do um, with black. Oof. Yeah, the plan could be to regrouping <laughs> our pieces a little bit. Uh, I think the knight might go to, like, if we could, uh, probably couldn't go all the way there. What was my plan here? <laughs> <laughs> what was your plan here, Sophie? Knight is seven. Mark, uh, first, knight is seven. Um, yeah, but I think I might be stepping a little bit over my pieces. Maybe Why? bishop uh, to d5, mm. but then I'm not sure if I'm stepping too much. Should, should go to c4? Uh, putting some piece on c4. Which looks... piece would like to get Good. to c4? At least while the queen d5. Um, I think maybe the bishop then and have it been uh, protected by the knight. Or the other way around, but just so that if white right, takes with, in some case, uh, could take with the bishop, then we could take back with another piece. But maybe it could even be the rook. No, actually, knight e seven mm. is the move. It's knight e seven is the move knight, here. Yeah. Okay, but is the knight then? Go... Okay, but is it going to? Um, are we planning to go like this? Exactly. Okay, this just seems a little slow, but I mean, it's if it's working, it's, it's working. a close position. Yeah, we can play slowly here. Black, uh, white doesn't yeah, have a way I to stop. Yeah, and I see eccentric set the same thing. Uh, yeah, this is uh, okay. I was just checking to see if the chat has uh, any more ideas, but that's it. Ninety seven and ninety six. Um, e4 doesn't work, yeah, because queen f4, this pawn is hanging now. If they go knight d2, we have ideas with f5 uh, in that position. And white's position looks, white structure looks uh, yeah. kind of weakened. Uh, knight e7 was a nice move here. And yes, the point is that you want to get all the way to b6. And you can place the knight right away. Here they went rook c1. Queen d8, fight for the file, knight e1. And here, as you said, Sophie, uh, you would want to get the knight on c4 eventually, like the ultimate piece. So here, uh, black goes bishop d5 with the idea of bishop c4. No? Yeah. Now he takes here, bishop c4. And this is just such a ni nice position to play. He went here, queen g5, and Black eventually won. It was a very nice game as well. Uh, but 
let's just go back to this position where we saw bishop takes f6 and yes of course white doesn't have to take they can go bishop h4 this is uh, the the main move and here you have two options the first one is to defend b5 with a6 but uh, okay let's see if you like this position bishop d3 and here we play with d6 knight d7 and the problem of this line is that the pawn on d6 is uh, a bit weak and white is actually first to attack it here and queen b4 is the best move for white and you see that bishop g3 will already have some issues with that pawn we're not losing it that's the good uh, news and we still have resources after bishop e4 point being that if they take when we take back with the knight the pawns defended yeah that's all right there and if yeah. bishop e2 we still have moves we have rook c8 and now we're going to have rook c2 in the end for example i'm just going to draw the arrows here if queen d6 queen takes and here in the end i have rook c2 attacking both pieces here yeah, yeah. Mm. getting the material back and well if they take with the bishop i think knight d5 will simply win the bishop yeah there's no way to keep the bishop defended mm. so what they do here is rook c1 and now the most played move is knight e8 and i think well here black is fine though a bit passive right so I wasn't sure how you're going to yeah. like this position. Knight d2, bishop g6. Okay, we will eventually get the pieces out, but it's not going to be easy. So I'm going to show you the option. Let's see which one you like best. After bishop h4, we said that here we have, instead of a6, you can also go g5. And the idea here is that yeah. after... <laughs> yep. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it's stream more, but... Uh... Well, here the point is that we give up the, the pawn. Did you ask me what... Sorry, I, I can't, cannot yeah. hear you very well today. I don't know what's going on. I think uh, something with the connection. I think, um, but I... I... Yeah. Yeah. So knight c6 here, and the idea is, well, if they don't take the pawn, we just want to play rook c8 and continue the attack. And if bishop takes b5, then here you have the initiative, you've lost the pawn, but there we go, knight e4. And you already said you like when your opponent cannot castle anymore. There we go, queen a5. Perfect. Perfect. Queen and he actually has to king right because yeah. if you put something in between it's losing the bishop on b5 yeah if knight yeah. d2 you take everything and then take on b5 uh and b4 looks very bad no we can take it right yeah i can just do this i think and i'm also much better with black yeah no, king e2 is the move and here uh, you don't even have to do anything about the knight because this bishop is hanging so you can continue with rook c8 here for example with the compensation the bishop is a bit awkward still on b5 cannot find uh, a good place and now you're playing for the initiative yeah. you can reroute the knight knight e7 knight e5 knight f5 sorry maybe later on i think Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I prefer this line. I thought so, yeah. So, But you have options. If you want to play more solid, you can go for the option with a6 here. And if you want to go for the throat, you can go g5. <laughs> if you want something more complicated. Uh, and in the game that we are going to see, we saw bishop g5 main line and the game was uh that we have here was e3 and i'm going to bril uh, briefly go over this pawn takes b5 bishop takes and now knight e4 was played and here you have again the initiative queen g5 is coming 
and queen g5 here. There's another option here that's very interesting, and that's bishop a6. The idea would be that if they take, we want to give this check, and the king has to move ah. again. And we take here with the And queen. then we take the check. Yes, exactly. And get out with the knight f6, knight c6. So if they don't take on, on a6, this is going to be similar to what happened in the game. Queen g5, we are hitting on g2. Yeah, there's no time for taking pieces here on a6. And the difference is that now on bishop f1, we take, and knight c6. And this is very similar to the game, but this is the difference. Know that here we've um, traded the light square bishops and still play for the initiative. So, well, let's see, let's see the game. Queen g5, now bishop f1, and here knight c6, knight f3. And here, uh, Adams has another game that he had played, it was a blitz game actually, where he had played queen a5, he won this. But in this game, he played queen g6, which also makes sense. We want to keep the, the queen around here g3 was the move played and now rook b8 now white has to do something to de develop the pieces because the bishop cannot get out of f1 actually no and if they play h4 maybe h4 is a better try then we still can play rook b8 and the way we do this is with f5 ah uh, yeah okay that makes sense uh the same if the queen goes to d3 i mean i know that it's blocking the bishop so it's probably not so good i think so queen d3 we can also play f5 here no we can also play for this idea you are worried about d5 i don't think d5 is anything you can just go knight e7 if this is what you are worried about yeah uh can you refresh yeah sorry <laughs> and this position if d5 knight knight e7 Uh, yeah, that looks I think, good. I think that's fine for us. We can also play bishop b7 first here if you are worried about about that because we still have uh, the knight is defended. No, h5, we have queen f5. I think we're not losing the knight. Yeah. We can still go bishop b7 here as an option. Uh, um, if, if d5 is better than f5 um d5 um, in this position well i, I like think... uh... sorry i didn't hear you ah i see the i see the chat yeah, now if, on uh, twitch if, uh, is d5... well the thing is that here we would like to attack the king so that's why we play f5 and we keep the the squares we, we keep the diagonal for the bishop open we put a bishop on b7 have that whole diagonal to attack on. And besides with the pawn on f5, we might want to play for f4 at some point. Everything is well defended. We're not going to put, yeah. uh, to move the pawn from d7 in this case. When we play f5, we keep the pawn on d7 in the other line as well. So g3, let's see the game. Now rook b8, and let's see how we attack here. Queen d3 was played. And here we can play f5, yeah, as we were seeing before. But queen f5, the move that he played also makes uh, makes sense because the light squares are weak, so black is already trying to to use them. And white has some problems in this position. For example, here he went bishop e2, and let's try to find a good way for black to continue here. I think um, I'm just going to see my suggestions first, then I'm going to look in the chat. Yeah. But I want to keep develop developing my piece. Um, I can't really go queen h3 because my knight is hanging on, on e4. But I like playing maybe just bishop b7. It's very, uh, uh, 
normal <laughs> looking, but it does now that the bishop, the white bishop didn't go to g2, this diagonal looks really good, I think. Yes, you can go bishop b7, but uh, you have something better here because if the bishop on b7 allows castle, no? and then white can maybe try to equalize. It's We are still better with black, probably. There's still a lot of pressure, but we can... Uh, we have a better way of increasing it. Oh, and the Twitch chat has it. The Twitch chat has it. I'm going to take a look. Um, no, 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 not G5, Dark Legend. Rook B6 was great. <laughs> G5 here, I don't know about G5 here. Rook B6. But Rook B6 is very strong, yes. With the idea of Bishop uh, A6. Because I get Bishop A6 but it's just, it's just uh, hanging. But yeah. I like that, that idea. This is very strong, yes. Bishop A6 next. And now we understand why he played Bishop E2. Because if he goes Bishop G2, the same idea of Rook B6 is probably even stronger. Now, oh, I'm going to refresh so you see the board. Now rook b6, bishop a6 should be almost winning, yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's because I, I thought it was weird that he went to d uh, to e2, but okay, that's the reason. Yeah, yeah, he probably, well, he actually probably saw this. Castle and now bishop a6 anyway, but this position is, is very nice now. Queen e2, and here... He plays on the queen side, he plays rook c8, white goes knight e1 in the game. What do we play now? Um, my first thought is knight g5. Um, maybe even... no. Or we could get the other knight to join the game. It looks, it sounds like there's something <laughs> concrete in this position. Let's see. Okay, there's a question about why not rook fb8. Okay. Rook b8 was also possible, yes. It's, I actually have it annotated here in the game that rook b8 was also a, a good idea instead of rook c8. Okay. But rook c8, he wants to use the c file. He wants to use the c2 square, maybe in the future. So there's one idea about going queen h3 and then trying to checkmate. <laughs> but it's uh, it's maybe a little too optimistic, but it's, it's so. an idea. Uh, an idea could be to join with this knight somehow, but I'm not really sure because h4 and, and f4 are covered. Um, Maybe even knight g5. Yeah. No, okay, now we're, we are switching a little because now the king is safe on g1 and we are playing on the queen side. Uh, ah, okay. We have, <laughs> we have uh, some uh, superiority there. White has so some, some weak squares. I'll see. Knight a5. Yeah, knight a5. Oh. Uh, Yes, knight a5. Yeah, knight a5 looks if we're playing on that part of the board. Yeah, and the switch has it as well. Yeah, knight a5 threatens to go knight yeah. b3. And there was a suggestion of rook b3, which is also interesting, no? to fix this, the pawn structure there. Yes, rook b3 is of course also good because you want to keep that bishop bad and not allow white to untangle. But knight, b knight a5 is actually even stronger you get the knight uh, knight in for example now if they play f3 you don't have to go away because this knight b3 is in the air and you can simply take on g3 and go knight b3 and win material so this is yeah actually a whole right because the book can't even hear. yeah yeah yeah. i think that what does he have to yeah i think it's it's music I think yes because I... the the queen is is also yeah 
the rook is kind of trapped. Maybe they have to go e4 here and force me to go queen g6, but yeah, that's not that's not good either. It's winning. Yeah. Now here you play knight d3, has to defend here, but we still go knight b3. And this position is obviously so much better for black, no? We like this. Rook c6, now we want to get to c2. Yeah. He played f3, and now where would you go with this knight? Well, that if we have to play on the queen side now... No, no, um, just think about this position and look at, at it what... On, on g5, and yes. maybe have it go to h3. Um, I think still that's what I like the most. Because yes. I mean, even if I put it on d6, I'm not really sure... I don't want to put it on c4 where it's blocking. So yeah, okay, g5. Knight g5 was the best move here because you can play for the other weaknesses. No, you can play for knight h3 maybe, and you're kind of combining here the threats. And you can play queen b5 now. And it's not so yeah. easy for white. My knight is not trapped. I'm threatening. I'm threatening to take on c1. No. Yeah. I think now. No, I'm actually threatening rook c2, sorry. I'm threatening rook c2 in this position. Now, this was a good option for black. And knight d6 is what he played in the game. And here white got some activity after e4. And we are going to see that after queen a5, bishop b3. He played knight c4. I know you didn't like this because you are covering the rook. And you are right about that. Now white had, uh, here he had a very good option, which was d5. And the point is that yeah. if we take, there is this knight b4. And they take back on d5. So now white's position doesn't look that bad anymore. I actually kind of like his position. <laughs> but uh, this, this didn't happen in the game. Rook d1 was played, and then here, knight b4, and in this position after d5, it's not the same, because now black takes on e3, queen takes. What do we play now? We are almost finishing this. The knight is under attack, no? The, the winning? Ah, uh, yeah, the knight is under attack. I, I was just looking for... Well, um, can we... It doesn't have a whole lot of squares. Can we just put it on c5? We can, but or if you move we the go... knight... Yeah, if you move I the don't... knight, you give the square c1 for the rook. No, that would be the tiny problem. Do we want to play queen a4? Yes. Isn't that a little awkward? No, it's not, because then we keep the c file. We can play queen a4 here. OK. <laughs> and we can also play queen c5. Okay. This is also good. The end game is also quite nice for black. But queen a4 Ooh. and white has some problems here. He took on e6. Now everything's fine. Knight a2, he's trying to close the c file, no? the knight is getting to c3. Queen a5, he goes rook e1. And now we have knight d2. The rook is under attack. And if he moves the rook, then we take on b2. And then c3, thank you. Yeah. He play rook e2. Yeah, yeah. He's spinning our knight. Rook d8. Rook d1, what do we do now? Is something is hanging, it looks like. Um, and this is hanging, uh, yes. Something I is hanging. Here, uh, the. Uh, <laughs> then if we. He can take 
stuck with the no no it's not quite working maybe it is but yeah you have to find the move order the right move order and it looks like the twitch channel has solved it already and now yes i see the youtube chat has also solved it you take and see yes like the knight we take we stack the rook right we, yeah we take the rook on c3 yeah yes oh uh, what else right and whatever they take with there's the knight f3 and take on d1 and this end game is uh good for us he took with the queen and let's see the end game takes here king takes and i'm just going to sh quickly show how he won this because we don't have much time left rook a1 here, just uh, to mention that rook c1 was a bit more precise because it wins an important tempo. The point is now that white has to play rook e3 and it actually takes uh, the square for the king. The king cannot go to e3 and to d4 anymore, which was important in this end game. And now if rook a1, we are still winning the pawn. Now if c4, we go back to c1. And if rook d3, we will have the same position in, as in the game where he played rook a1 but this is the difference that here the king gets to be active and the piece activity in rook n games is is very important so here white uh, had yeah. some chances for a draw but for example here if king e5 probably holds rook a2 and if king c4 this was played in the game this should also hold but here, uh, why didn't play very precisely? Rook b7, and this allows h5. And this is important because now the king gets out. But instead of rook b7, just uh, an idea that you should remember that g4, if your opponent doesn't have h5, is usually very strong, mainly because right now it cuts the king. Let's say king f7, h4. The king doesn't have activity and then you can play rook b7 and black is playing without the king. No? This is yeah. the big uh, the big point of the move g4. After rook b7, that's a, good... that's a good point to remember, no, it's g4. And mm -hmm. here, uh, this is not so, so easy to hold anymore. And now white played king d5, which is the final mistake. And the pawn advances. He, I think he thought that he would have some chances with this pawn, but it looks like black gets too many pawns here. And the A pawn is too. And the A pawn is yeah. running, yeah. He played rook e7 and rook g4 and resigned. So this was, yeah. I think, uh, everything we, were ha we had to see about the Nimso. And... Yeah. Not sure if we are going to have another lesson in the NIMSO, maybe just a brief uh, uh, test, like with some exercises to see. But we're going to see and prepare something exciting for you <laughs> next next week, for you to be well uh, prepared for your tournament, Sophie. Um, yes, it's in two weeks, so I have a little time. You have a little yeah. time, yes. Uh, well, thank you everybody yeah. for watching and just to quick reminder to go check out coaches.com where you can book a lesson with me or with any of my colleagues, very strong coaches as well, who will definitely help you improve and discover your weaknesses and see what you, yeah. what you need to study to improve. And choose the lines that are in uh, your style also like help you choose some good openings yeah it's always yeah. easier when somebody you helps you good luck in the twitch chat <laughs> yeah hope to see some good games from yeah. sophia i think we're going to soon have a lesson where we're going to look at sophie's games what do you think sophie <laughs> i think i think that's a good idea then i need to uh, <laughs> play some good games no pressure eh? no pressure <laughs> Okay. A little bit of pressure. 
Yeah. Well, thank you guys very much. And we're going to leave you now because uh, Norway Chess is about to start. So I uh, hope to see you next week. Thank you very much for joining. And go check out coaches.com. <laughs> thank you. Bye.